Many of us may not realize it, but we are affected by space weather regularly. Chief Meteorologist Amy Metz has more on why space weather is being introduced into North Dakota state legislation in this week's Weatherwise. Well, in this week's Weatherwise, I'll be talking about a meeting I attended today. Now, the state government actually does have a committee for space weather. I'm helping with that right now. So what I shared today, starting off something that is in the news for us, pipelines, it just so happens that people are mitigating these things already. Now, FEMA has had a plan, and North Dakota was the first state to adopt these plans. So putting them into effect, knowing that rapid changes and different space weather events can cause pipeline degradation, we have now moved on to advancing into figuring out how we're going to plan for this stuff and strategize. So what's happening here can even affect our power lines. By sending space weather through the air, we can also have these geomagnetic currents induced. Now I'll have more on this in detail on kxnet.com, but I did want to show you some of those slides with the sources also here. So what we're getting affected here goes all the way far reaching from the sun to our satellites, we can sometimes get GPS scintillations, meaning that our guidance is not working on our phones. Maybe that's a tractor that you have guided by GPS, or sometimes even radiation hazards. Pregnant people, for instance, and pilots are not supposed to be flying over a certain amount of hours because of the radiation hazards. And those are just a few of those types of space weather events. Here we're looking at many different types, and they get here in different durations. That I'll also be explaining on that link, kxnet.com. We'll have that up soon. And in this case, lower latitudes, they don't get the space weather effects like everybody. So North Dakota just so happens to be up in the higher latitudes, and we're planning ahead of time so Darren here made a good point today he said that for every dollar that uh, is spent six dollars and 54 cents is saved in the long run so we are looking at these potential impacts the radiation hazards that can occur what that can do to our equipment on the ground to people and with these uh, new advancements in technology there's going to be much more that we're learning together so i'll keep sharing more on town hall meetings because you too can get involved in this planning process Oh, very interesting. I didn't even know about yeah. the, the flying and radiation and pregnancy and pilots. It's amazing uh, yeah, stuff. pretty cool.